this is a device from Lounge uh, CR3008 uh, or the C Reader 3008 and I have to say that I have really mixed feelings about it. Mm, there are some things that I'm impressed with but there are some drawbacks so this is a generic OBD2 device so it can do things like uh, read and clear your DC codes and turn off your check engine light and check readiness monitors uh, also check some live data from your car let's not focus on the things that you can do with other devices rather than let's say what this device can do better than the uh, than the competition first of all I'm very impressed with the build quality this device is very large but you can hold it in hand firmly without a problem you can already see that there's a huge display all those all those buttons are just very nice to use even the click sound is impressive on this device so the build quality is very good and uh, uh, even the USB port for updates is very deep inside so when you connect the USB cable to update the firmware or take some information out of the device it's very hard to break the connector that's inside it's so deep that even if you uh, try to break the connector the, uh, the design will not let you to do that the display is very bright, even right now in daylight uh, we can clearly see what's on the display. To navigate on this device you have those four buttons over here, one to confirm in the center, in the middle, one to go back over here and three quick access buttons to three uh, most common functions that you will use on this device. So the first one is the DTC, this uh, takes you straight to your diagnostic trouble codes, so with a single press of a button you can go straight to those codes if you just want to check what codes are uh, pending in your car. Second is the readiness monitor button which uh, takes you straight to this list of the uh, readiness status so you can see which tests are completed, where are, which are failed, which are still pending and you can also see if there's the um, engine malfunction light on and what's the status of your DTCs over here. The third button is the battery test which takes you to a voltage test really and this is not based on the um, on the OBD2 protocol which uh, in most cars uh, happens like that that the device is uh, asking your ECU hey what's the voltage and the ECU is sending back this information and this can be uh, done as quickly as the ECU can respond to your um, to your question so it most likely take half a second so you have two readouts per second and over here it's uh, it's made differently the device itself measures the voltage from the OBD2 port so this voltage over here is much more accurate and the readouts are much faster so when you are cranking your car you can check if the voltage drops below some minimum sadly the device will not monitor it you need to stare at the display and check if the voltage drops there's no chart for that but that can be uh, changed uh, with uh, software updates and I hope that launch will develop some uh, software updates for this device. Also the update procedure of the, on this device is very easy, it's the simplest that I saw so far and um, all you need to do is download uh, an application from launch website connect this device to your computer and pretty much everything other happens automatically software checks what's the current version on uh, your device what's the current version on the uh, company servers checks the serial number of your device and if everything's okay it just shows you a uh, box uh, to click ok i want to update my device then you have to wait a few minutes and it's all done so uh, at this point you might ask yourself why am I disappointed in this device when the build quality is so high with the very bright display with the battery voltage check and with the update procedure and with the quick access buttons and the answer is very simple I have two of those because one of those uh, devices the first one that I got was very slow it was so slow that it was nearly impossible to diagnose anything in a car but launch company was extra nice and they, uh, they said that most likely it's a, a manufacturing issue they sent me another one to test and uh, the second one works as expected it can happen to anybody sadly this time it happened to launch if you have one of those devices and if uh, it works very slow you should uh, contact launch yourself and uh, they most likely will replace your device 
check the description below this video for technical specification also there's a link to an online store if you want to buy one of those devices and uh, thank you for watching give me thumbs up if you like this review and see you soon